close to booking the uh, Donegal or the Edinburgh one, but by the time I thought about it and went to go, it wasn't available anymore, so it was too close in time. It was only an hour and a bit for the flight. Um, but I think it's best to stay to the stealth camping here and then in the morning go off and see where we can end up. Um, you know, and almost did it. But, uh, you know, it would have been an adventure, I'm sure, but there's still many adventures ahead. Tomorrow we get to see where we go. First of all, spend the evening here. We're going to have something to eat later and uh, find a place to crash out a bit and then in the morning get up. Look at the map and the way uh, the car park enter, uh, exits and then see where people would be coming off and then they'd be coming home from their trip. Hopefully, you know, have room and be willing to give me a lift and we'll see where I end up tomorrow. Going to the airport inside. So I finished off the little break area. Now we'll go in, go to the washroom, try to patch up, find a place to have some dinner. And then we'll go sneak and have a place to uh, charge up my battery of my phone, change the battery for the uh, GoPro, and then we'll head off to uh, find a place to camp out for the night. So the bathroom break was all done. Very good, successful clean now where to hang out now there is terminal 2 which is a there's an alleyway that goes to terminal 2 which tends to be a little bit nicer than terminal 1 uh, take a look around here see got my jacket off getting cozy comfortable for my stealth camping there's a restaurant down at the end lens it's lens down it's the coffee, furniture exchange. There's a Burger King upstairs. So what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna take the little long walk. We have lots of time anyways to kill. I'll take the uh, walk to Terminal 2, see what they have going on there. Cause I know the second floor of Terminal 2 is really nice. A few restaurants there. Cozy place to maybe crash out. So we'll try that place first. And if not, we'll come back. So here's the uh, Terminal 2 side. This is the newer side. Here's the spar place. I, you know what's good is the Euro Millions tonight. Jackpot is 130 million. I'm going to buy a Euro Millions ticket. Hiya. Yeah. <clears throat> Can I have a Euro Millions tonight? Yeah. Uh, with one many lights? Two lights? Sure. Uh, with plus? Plus, please. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there we go. We got the uh, winning ticket. Find out if I win. You have to watch the whole video to find out. Let's take a look, see what we have here. And. Oh, wait. There used to be a whole bunch of restaurants here, so I think they've changed that. Ooh, that's not very progressive. This is where a lot of people come to have a snooze at the night. So they have some new places coming up. But this used to be all a whole bunch of restaurants. Doesn't look like it is, so that's just the washrooms. So we're gonna make our way back to uh, Terminal 1. Charge your phone if you need to, and the laptop if you had it, but didn't bring the laptop. So I can always come back here if I want to plug in. But we'll head back to Terminal 1, get something to eat, get in our beer maybe. So Dublin, Dublin Airport hits again. Like, I understand the airport, but they have a little bar. I got an orchard thieves inside on the third floor in Terminal 1 and the food village which has a bar and then the food closes at six like what's the story with that it's an airport <coughs> you know the whole place shuts down um didn't get dinner yet just decided to have a an orchard thieves and then hopefully maybe go over to burger king they do have a place downstairs 
um, on the first floor that has like a restaurant with that, but you know, the prices were pretty pretty steep. So I won't really make that my uh, port of call as of yet. We'll see. I'll probably end up with just the uh, the old Burger King again. So it'll be two times the Burger King for the day. So not the best healthy diet, but hey, it keeps me fed while we're doing the vlog. So I had to make a last dash over towards Burger King because apparently it closes at seven. So it's six thirty-eight now. I was having the uh, I was having the cider, but then I looked at the the app and I said, "Oh, geez, it closes at seven. So the whole thing shuts down pretty early." I was expecting to open at least till 10 or so. Uh, but anyways, so I got a, my second Burger King with, this time I had a beer with it because they have beer here. And I got some chips and an Angus Steak Burger. So we're going special stuff. And they gave us some uh, ketchup with it. So Simon Wilson will approve. We'll give it a shot and see what it's like. Passing time at the airport, watching Gabriel Traveler, the original vlogger. So as I'm passing time here, the, the Burger King doesn't close at 7. It must have been a, a Google mishap, as it happened before. They're still going, it's 8 o'clock at night. So I help, help myself to another pint. It was 6.20 in the airport, which is not too bad, you know, like, yeah, it's Dorbinant everywhere else, but for the airport, it's not too bad. So, I'm gonna have this, I'll watch uh, some more YouTube, and after that, I'll be trying to find a place where I can bed down for the evening, and then we'll get started early in the morning. Well, a quick update that uh, changed a bit because it's a little bit after eight, and they're closing up the Burger King area, so they kicked us out, even though I just got the pint. So, but there is a common area in the airport where you can sit. So, I'll be sitting here, finishing that, and then we'll find a place to crash for the evening. Going down. Option number one. There's these seats here outside the arrivals. I might uh, be able to sit there and chill out. Though it's not really lying down. They have little circular things that you could put, uh, you know, your phone on there, watch a YouTube or two. But eventually, you want to be getting to some sleep, so I'm going on. I'll be seeing if anyone questions me, which they won't, because I've been here several times before. But there is a, a flight at 5:55 heading to uh, Sofia, so I'll say that's what I'm looking for. I'm sure nobody gives a hoot as long as you're not causing any problems while you're chilling out in the airport using the uh, facilities and stuff. So just keep going on and take a look at the other side. I'll head over to Terminal 2, the second floor, see what that place looks like. Because if I remember correctly, it gets really dark and it's a nice place to chill out. So I've arrived on the uh, Terminal 2, second floor. It's a coffee shop that's closed up, I think, or it's closing. We'll see. See if I can sit here for a while. It's very comfy seats. And then watch some YouTube, we'll see. See if I get kicked out. I think I found a spot for tonight. I was at the coffee place, but it's still going on, and there's still people there, and it wasn't really still. So it's behind a, a board. A nice little place. I'll put my leg there, lay down on the floor. Should be able to watch a little video until I get to sleep. Well, it's three o'clock in the morning now. Just went to the washroom. Um, they've actually designed the place that you can't sleep. Like this, the, the chairs that they have, they're made that you can't sleep the floor is oh, marble, really hard so it's not the best night's sleep i maybe got about an hour so far i still got there three hours to go uh, wish me luck i think i might have found a spot 
That's a comfortable couch anyways. So I'm gonna give this a shot for the next three hours. And just as I found a comfortable spot, your man came and said the restaurant was opening, so he uh, told us we had to get up in that. So I got all of 20 minutes. So it was too good to, to last. So now we'll wander around for an hour. Two and a half hours. Let's see. Just found a comfy couch. Well, chair, sofa chair. And a bag here, so I'm gonna put my feet up, see if I can crash in a little bit. It's a little bright, but I got my hat on. Good morning, everyone. It's 6.52 in the morning. So I did manage to catch a little bit of sleep there. I uh, found a chair that was sort of comfortable. We could lay back in. So basically I slept from like, let's say 3.40 to about 6.30, 6.40. Just trying to get my bearings there. Now I'm gonna head to the, the old bathroom there and freshen up, change my shirt and wipe down and see. And then we'll head over to Terminal 1, head out towards the car park is and try to find the exit out get my old sign out and see where we end up okay wash all done change the clothes socks underwear shirt all ready to go for another day at adventure are you so stay with me and see how we get on trying to exit and get picked up outside Dublin Airport and um, so I'm gonna head off it takes a fair bit of a walk to get to the place where the cars leave and then I'll get the sign ready and get going and see how lucky we are today as we're leaving the uh, airport area, we're out doing on foot, walking out to a place where, you know, the outward cars weave by. Haven't had breakfast yet too, and it looks like we might have rain today. So, I don't know. See how that changes things in our day. Um, it's the Amok. It's on the way out, so I guess we're heading the right direction. Um, wonder, I know there's a McDonald's up here like the 10 minute walk. I wonder if that would be a good place to start, get a coffee and then something to eat and then head off for the day. So made it to McDonald's. Uh, it's a fair little walk outside, but I mean, there's no real place where anywhere cars would slow down and majority of them are all taxis anyway. So there is a little spot outside McDonald's. Maybe I could go stop after I have a coffee, have my breakfast and uh, then we'll hit the road. Give it a shot. McDonald's done and dusted. Now, we'll head out here. It's starting to rain, I think. Let's see if we get lucky hitchhiking or we have to walk a little bit further. Um, feel refreshed now after whopping two and a half hours of sleep. Um, had a little baked, uh, what is it, sausage from a coffin with egg, and uh, probably around here I'd say is the best bet to hitchhike, there's a turn in lane for McDonald's, so someone could pull in there and then pull back out, so we'll give it a shot, let's see if we were lucky as we were yesterday with the, uh, the lifts we got yesterday, today it's uh, 7.50 exactly, here we go, let's start the journey. Anywhere. I'm only Sounds perfect. <laughs> it was funny because I'm doing a 48 hour challenge hitchhiking oh, yeah. everywhere, anywhere in Ireland, right? And I uh, I started in Wexford, Wexford town at uh, eight o'clock in the morning yesterday. And I had five different lifts. I went to. I, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. I'm after coming from Donegal. <laughs> yeah. No, I went to. Um, I went to uh, a bunch of places, ended up in um, a town just on the coast, Hoth, and then to Malahide. Then I had to walk here because I figured it was a good place to have like a stealth camping type thing. So I stayed in the, whole, in the, uh, the airport for the night because I brought a tent as well. Where are you? So, uh, what part of the States are you from? No, Montreal. Montreal, Canada. Oh, you're Canadian, even better. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I uh, 
And I was I was in the airport around 6.30 last night, and I was looking at flights. And there was a flight to Donegal, but it was too late to to book it, I guess. And I was I was trying to find if there was any places to stay or whatever and that. And it didn't. But it was funny. It was it was it Donegal or it was Edinburgh? It was, but I said no, no. I'll stick with the challenge, the 48 hours of hitchhiking at wherever. And then tomorrow morning at eight, I'll just grab whatever public transport I can find and head well, home you to might Wexford. Get stuck in Donegal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a whole lot up there. <laughs> I've never been to Donegal. It's one of the places. Like I've been all over Wexford. I was involved with the uh, the Wexford Ladies LGFA. So I've, uh, yeah. I was able to travel to a lot of different parts. I've been up the north of it. My family's from the north. They're from Belfast. That's how I got the Irish passport. And I I told them I had cancer uh, just as COVID hit. I had prostate cancer, oh. so I had that. But it was taken care of. I was lucky because I had health insurance. Because if I had it was on the public system, I would have been banjax because they canceled all those surgeries yeah. so and then i started I, I said after that i said oh i'll try to do the camino i did that and i got you in the, the full i did three uh 320 i started yeah, at Lyon. Like i i love it it's i said i'm going to go back when i retire and do the full thing but then i started i uh watching YouTube and that because we weren't watching TV, we weren't doing anything. So I went to uh, panels and that. I said, well, I could do that maybe. And then I, I planned to go to Nepal. So I went to Nepal last year. I climbed Ben Nevis last year as well. Yeah, and then this year I've been to Bulgaria. I've been to Birmingham for the first time. I've never been to England. <laughs> I've been to Scotland and Wales tons of times. And then I'm going to Azerbaijan next month and Pakistan in September. I got collected right away after the McDonald's. Literally about four cars passed by, and nice man, who young lad, just uh, dropped his fiance to the airport. She's heading off to Manchester. So guess where we're going? We're going to Donegal. It's funny because that was where I was saying uh, last night. I was toying with the idea of maybe checking a flight, and I just missed it. But we're heading to Donegal. Never been there before, so let's see what that's all about. his place he's dropped me off and we're gonna he's gotta feed the dogs and then we're gonna head into uh, some other part Here's the little doggies <laughs> come here come here no it's raining a bit it's got a little caddy in the window yeah come here come here yeah, so we're stopped off. Uh, it's been making good time, so let's take a look at the old phone here. So, we started around 8 o'clock. It's half 10 and we're in Donegal already. Excellent time. So, this is more than I had thought it would end up in. We did nerf 250 kilometers today. So what I'll probably end up doing is exploring Donegal. We'll show you around where that. I'll stay the night here and then we'll head off in public transport and try to get back home tomorrow for Patrick's Day. So really impressed with the uh, the hitchhiking over the two days. Like yesterday was five little shorter jobs and today is one big long uh, hitchhike. So from Dublin to Donegal, the uh, northeastmost point in Ireland. So see what else we're going to get up to today. So. Oscar just dropped me off, so I'm at crossroads here towards Donegal or Letterkenny. He recommended that uh, Donegal Town would be a better place than to go to Letterkenny. So what we'll do is we'll just walk around here for just a wee bit, cross over, and then we'll try to thumb our way there. And we'll see if somebody picks us up to go to Donegal Town. We still have the sign. We have to do one more hitchhike to get to uh, Donegal Town. Just keep our thumbs out. We'll see what we get any luck. Anyone stops to collect us. We have a, it says about 20 minutes drive. It's about 23 or 28 kilometers. So, that, so we'll see if we get lucky and go in. And then we'll try to see what the Donegal Town has to offer and uh, where we're going to crash. And then also organize how I get back home tomorrow, maybe. Uh, it, it should be an interesting 
journey on the way back as well. We've been at it for about 20 minutes, no luck yet, but I'm optimistic because, you know, we only have about 20 some odd kilometers to go to our destination, so we'll see. Uh, Donegal Town. Yeah, jump on there, yeah. Perfect. Dermot Cunningham. Dermot. Mick. I'm heading for Tipperary. Tipperary. If you want to go to Tipperary, you can sit there. It's up to yourself. I'd go to Tipperary. Well, it's up to you. Totally up to you. Yeah, let's well, go. Well, hold on a second. I'm going to pick up the mother-in-law, Shannon. Okay. So, that, that's that's in the balance yet to let me make a phone call. Okay. Yeah. So, she's coming in at 4 o'clock, so... I'd be, about, I'd be there about four. But you're welcome to go that far, like, you know, it's totally... Temporary, you know, yeah. Well, it, you know, the thing is, it'd be easier to get to Wexford Town from there. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, I, I might I might have to drop you off at Shannon. At That's Shannon in uh, Clare? County Clare. Shannon, that'd be fine. At Shannon Airport, like. At the airport itself? Yeah. yeah. How would it... You know, that'd be... Yeah, that know, would be... Uh, see, I don't know what the bus connections are from there. Well, that's what like I'm that. trying to think for Shannon. I, huh? I've only been there once, I think. Yeah, yeah. But um, that's 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 on the balance yet until uh, yeah. Until, uh, that's on the balance now until um, afternoon. Okay. So totally up to yourself. I don't mind. <laughs> Where are you from? Montreal originally. Montreal, yeah. Montreal. But I lived in Wexford for the last yeah, 16 yeah. years. Okay. Um, what's the what's the big thing about just just getting up, getting up trying to see different right, places, okay, okay. Ireland, uh, okay, okay. you know, okay. I've seen most of Wexford and a few other places yeah, yeah, around yeah. and I thought it would be a good, good crack to try to see how yeah, far yeah. I can get Oh, you can get in 48 hours yeah, you're, you're just biggest, hitchhiking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your biggest hassle nowadays is getting guys to give you a lift. Yeah, but the funniest thing is you the know. first person that picked me up uh -huh. was uh, a woman by herself. Right. And I, everyone told me at work, nobody would pick me up. Like yeah. a woman wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. But she yeah. was the first one, so. Jesus. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I don't mind picking people up. Well, you yeah. know, you're, you're a bit worried, like, you have to make it, have well, to make yeah. a split second decision now, yeah. like, stop that guy or what, you know? Yeah, that's you it. know what I mean? And it, it's, uh, it's just, it's just a shit world like that, like, you know? Yeah. Well, since COVID, it didn't help either. A lot of things, yeah. Everything shut down. Yeah, and, everything is fucked up, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. first time I'm here and I've heard a lot about it, so yeah, yeah. I figure it'd be a good place to yeah, yeah. enjoy the last few hours of my adventure. Yeah. And then find a place to sleep for the night and then yeah, head back yeah, and, yeah. in the morning. Uh, and, uh, I think there's hostels in that, yeah, I think. Yeah. I, think I don't, know, don't know that end of it now, but. Uh, take a look and I'll look at the old Google and yeah, 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 see definitely. what's around and yeah, uh, yeah, look course. at the bus schedules and that because yeah. it's Paddy's day tomorrow so yeah. it might be on the Sunday routine and stuff uh -huh. so yeah. yeah it'll probably take me longer to get home by bus <laughs> uh, there's a good, good, good bus around. connection here yeah. to, go to Dublin yeah. anyway and then you can you can from Dublin to Wexford it's Dublin easy enough yeah. yeah so there you go so that's you kind of We're coming in here now, and uh, McGee's of Donegal, they're on here on the right, they're a big, big, uh, there's, okay. there's the Abbey Hotel there in front of you, yeah. and uh, McGee's are around the corner, this is the diamond here, we call the diamond, I'll be letting you pull or let you off here. Yep. Uh, I think we're doing a lot of work on this at the moment. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I think they are, yeah, I think they heard the way, yeah. So, McGee's of Donegal, they're a tweet company, they're a household name. Okay. They're just along there. Yep. There's a shop there, so, that's the there, look at it. I'll go in and have a browse in there if you want. Get the wife, get the yeah. wife a nice scarf or something. <laughs> the Abbey Hotel over there in the central beside it. Yeah. And uh, uh, then the Dom's down there and there's another. Just have a pull over here now. Just. Thank you very much, uh, Dermot. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, okay. Welcome. Yeah. Much appreciated. And I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. hook you up the next time I'm in Donegal oh, yeah, and do yeah, a proper yeah, 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 tour. Yeah, yeah. Yep, good, good. Chat. Dermot just dropped me off. We're in Donegal town. I almost went to uh, heading off with him to Tipperary, but then he was saying he was might have had to pick up somebody in Shannon at the airport itself, and I would have had to get off there, and it would have been more difficult. But I think it's a perfect place to conclude uh, the uh, the hitchhiking challenge, anyways. So I made it all the way to Donegal Town um, with five, six, seven hitchhikes in total. So we did about. I'd say about 600 kilometers in the two days. So now I'm going to try to find my feet, walk around a bit. Um, probably uh, look and see if I can get a place to stay. Now he's, I, I don't want to stay 
high prices and that. But there is some places here, we'll see. Now it is Patty's weekend, so it might be full up and that. I do have the stand dry or the tent, but it's pissing down rain. And, and then I also have to look at well, how am I gonna make it back tomorrow? Uh, the bus schedules and that. There is a bus schedule in town to go right to uh, Dublin. And then from Dublin, we'll take the, uh, the bus back home. So let's go take a look and see if I can find a spot. So we're in Donegal, Donegal town. Didn't expect to be here. There's all sorts of little souvenir stuff you can get. We'll probably get Emily a keychain, or not keychain, a bridge magnet. So, bearings, I got this, I've seen this little alleyway. The signs pointing to Furry's Diner. So just come into an alleyway and go. Take a look what that is. Maybe get a coffee, a sandwich, or something. Oh. Is it open? Or... Oh, exit door only. Oh. Keep going. So, exit door only. Here's an Audi. Here's the Furry's Diner. Maybe this is it. There we go. So here's the little menu. All day breakfast, waffles, Nicodella salads, triple deckers. I think I'm gonna have a coffee and a BLT. Nine euros for the BLT. And drinks, coffees, teas, etc. So I'll just order that and I'll let you know what it looks like when it comes. Forgot to show you, I've eaten half of it already. That. Trying to find a bus for tomorrow though, that's a problem. It's absolutely bucketing outside, so I decided to have myself a second cup of Americano. Um, then I'll walk around, check where the bus skater was out. It's hard to say because it's Patty's Day celebration tomorrow. But there is one that leaves at 7, I think, and it goes to the airport. Um, so I'm going to plan on that. And there's one at 8.30 or 10, so one of those three. Hopefully one of them are working. And because it's 7 in the morning, it would be earlier than the parades would start. So hopefully that's what we're going we're gonna to be doing. Um, hopefully it's going tomorrow or else we might have to hitchhike our way back into Dublin. So anyways, we'll see what's happening. We're going to enjoy the festivities tonight. Maybe go to a pub and watch the rugby. I think the rugby's are on today, so I might have a one or two once I uh, go to the d and watch a booked 75 euros it cost me on booking.com, uh, which is not that bad considering it's uh, Patty's Day weekend in, in Donegal, so I'll, let you, I'll show you what it looks like what 75 euros gets you. Was, that was 12 euros uh, for two cups of coffee and they had the um, the clubbed sandwich, it was very good. So here's the little entrance, I'll show you how to get to it from the street. I'm gonna go back out. Um, I still have about two hours till I have to go to my B&B and then shower up and get ready to go see the rugby match. So maybe we'll pop into either a shop that has souvenirs or just a little pub or something and get a pint or while we're waiting and chilling out. I booked my uh, bus ticket tomorrow. It's at half eight in the morning from the hotel. The Abbey Hotel, I think it's, what is it, the, uh, say the Abbey Hotel? To the airport. So it leaves at eight, half eight and I should get in about 12.10. Yeah, the Abbey Hotel. So here we go. Where's the pubs? Let's see where a pub is or, actually I think there's this place in the corner here that has uh, souvenirs and stuff. See. And then we'll put you away till tomorrow. I'll show you how we get home. Let's go in here. Uh, yeah, let's go in here.
do 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 oh, little cards is not bad. Let me pick her up one. She said not to get her one, but I'll do it anyways. sticker for my uh, my laptop. Right by see the Abbey hotels there. There's a few little pucks here. A Caffrey's bar. Red Nelly's bar house. And then Sunny McSlines. There's a few here. I might go try one. Let's see. Big look inside. Hopefully this time it's correct. This is a little place that's like it's really neat. Pictures and artifacts all over. Here's the upstairs for the ladies. See? Yes, there it's here. Oh, it goes way back. It's a massive lake. Say the rugby will be on here. This would be a definitely a nice place to come in. Just like the music there. So. And there's a beer garden up back. Stage here. And all the group. Very nice. Definitely cool. I've had me throw up a pint, I think. Go to Jackson. Here's the pint of Guinness, 540. Looks like a good head of Guinness. Everyone's the Guinness looks really, really good. So same as price as Wexford. As I'm walking towards my uh, my bed and breakfast, we're getting outside. Look at this church with a big round tower in it. Looks neat. So it's about a 15 minute walk from the Abbey Hotel to the bed and breakfast. Tomorrow I have my uh, bus booked for half eight. Like I said it before. So we should be getting in the airport a little after 12 and then jump on the next bus to Wexford. So all being said, hopefully I'll be home by 4 o'clock. A big travel day tomorrow. But no thumbs involved. So we'll just keep walking up town. It's not too far to go. And I'll show you what it looks like when we get there. Here's a little national school. Right there. Decoration for St. Patrick's Day, which is tomorrow. I'm gonna go down. There we go. We're almost there now. We're about four minutes left. One night. One night. Okay, please. Yes, sir. Oh, 
It's a winter day. Okay, we're gonna do a quick room tour. So it wasn't a bad walk. Uh, your man said he'll drop me down when I'm ready. So here's the room. It's a double bed. You know, telly up there, coffee and tea. And then you have, he says, turn this on when you want to have a shower. Here's the bathroom with the shower. Very clean, good for purpose. For 75 euros on Patty's weekend is not too bad so i am going to hurry up have a shower freshen up get my buttocks down to the pub again to watch ireland in the six nations final game okay so now we'll just do the quick bed test so here's the bed and let's see what it's like oh nice and soft dog bed it'd be better in dublin airport yesterday which was atrocious but didn't cost me 75 euro. So, uh, Ireland's supposed to be kick, uh, kicking off soon. I've had my shower, went around the room, got my bags sort of prepped for tomorrow. I just have to finish off and what I'm wearing and stuff and pack a few things. So I'm just going to sign off for now. Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is a Sunday morning. 48 hour adventures over uh, give a shout out to everyone celebrating St. Patrick's Day and to my friends from the uh, from Two Commando um, we are members of PPCLI Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry and it's their uh, birthday as well um, today we're going to be making our way back we had an adventurous weekend I hope you enjoyed the uh, adventure I did myself we had, ended up going from Wexford Town at 8 o'clock at the race course and we ended up in Donegal about a day and a half later with seven interesting people that collected me and we camped out in the airport on the first night and the second night, well, I spoiled myself. I just decided to get this, uh, this be a bed and breakfast. So I'm going to go down there now and have my breakfast and then we go and take the bus. Probably won't show you the bus ride. It's just very boring. Two bus rides. One from um, Donegal Town all the way to the airport. And then the second one is from the airport into Exeter Town. That is just a bus ride. But I think it's been great. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more adventures. Here's the setup here. A nice good chat with the landlady. And she just explained to her what I was doing for the last 48 hours. And she's going to make me some Weetabix and then some fried eggs and sausages and that and, and a cup of tea, of course. So we'll get stuck in on that and then finish up and pack up and head off towards the bus station. Uh, this is the uh, diamond the landlady was giving out because uh, they're under construction. She said it would have been beautiful for St. Patrick's Day because it's all done up. So I figured I have a f about 40 minutes to kill before the bus. So I'll take a, a little walk around this part of the town. I haven't seen it yesterday. You have the church spire in the background there. There's a nice old building, the old castle bar and restaurant. There's another church down there. So let's go take a look at this uh, church here. Very nice. And then we'll walk down to this one. There's another one there behind it too. A newer model. And there was the one we saw yesterday with the round tower. Looks like he was having a wedding yesterday. These are all the little shops. In Donegal Town. I'll be more relaxed once I get into the bus. And I just have to wait until we get to the airport. Karen's Hair Boutique. Julie's Beauty Salon. She's right beside you. 
the reel in. Here's a little river. River Esky. There's a nice old building there. The back of it. Here's an old bridge. We're walking on the wrong side, of course. And there's the, the church there. That looks really nice there in the water. There's a little throne over there. And then there's some boats on the other side. Yeah. So, that'll be about it for today, I think. Put the old camera away unless something really spectacular jumps out. But thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll continue on with more adventures with Celtic Mick Walks.